Feed a Carnus, living meat research documentary for footage. I shouldn't watch On this? planet Earth, life has thrived for millions of years. It has? Because Creatures of me? big and small have found ways to adapt and evolve to flourish in all types of environments. Okay. From barren wastes to lush forests, life can be found. That's Earth nice. Has homed these creatures since the dawn of life itself. Since I created life. <laughs> Until very recently, things have changed. New life forms have appeared all around the globe and completely changing the balance of nature and what we know about evolution itself. When did this happen? That is why we, at National Living Meat Research, have been studying these new species, trying to help educate everyone about these creatures and their wondrous ways of life. Okay. First, what are these new life forms? Since their explosive arrival across the globe in 1931, Jesus! there has been much debate on what these newcomers are, and where they came from. Are they extraterrestrials coming to invade Earth? Probably. Or are they demons who come from hell to purge humanity? Wow! From what our scientists have discovered. I won't let that happen. No. The origins of these creatures are solely to Earth, miraculously out of nowhere. We don't know why or how, but one thing is for certain. Earth is now their home. I blame Bill Gates. Probably that nigga Bill's fault. I'm not gonna lie. It might be due to all those uh, nuclear bombs they be testing in the oceans. It probably caused something to happen. I blame the billionaires. I blame uh, Mother Russia. What these creatures are is mysterious and still not well known today. But here is what we do know. These creatures are comprised mainly of muscle tissue, organs, and bone. So it's a, it's a living creature. animals with no skin or store-bought meat. Because of these characteristics, they have been named accordingly as Vita Carnies. What does that the mean? The carnies species consume decaying, organic matter, but their main diet is composed of raw meat, not including their carnies relatives. Okay, so they're the normal animals. The only appear in places where there is an abundance of crawl, which leads to the first creature of the carnies species, the crawl. The crawl? The crawl is a growth of meaty tendrils that closely resemble the small intestine. The That's only difference tree. being the dark red coloration. These tendrils grow in a similar pattern as vines, mold, or fungi. That's a tree! A primary stem That is not a tree! Yummy! Structure is the host to divisions of other, smaller branches. In each tendril contains a variety of veins, arteries, and other similar organs used to transport nutrients absorbed from its surroundings. Okay, so it's the a hell of these tree. These tendrils are equipped with organelles used Demon to absorb tree. water and organic matter necessary for growth. The source of these organic materials is mainly found in dirt and soil on surrounding surfaces. So a tree! Using its root-like tendrils, it absorbs the material and processes it into usable energy. Although, the crawl also obtains energy through another means. Using a sophisticated form of photosynthesis, the dark pigmentation of the smaller branches is ideal for absorbing sunlight, and therefore allowing solar energy to fuel the crawl's growth. Yeah. Because of its efficiency, it thrives in almost all types of environments, easily allowing it to spread across the world and can be found pretty much anywhere. I haven't seen one yet. Wait, why doesn't it work right here though? What's right here that's so special? What's going on right here in uh, Canada, I'm pretty sure. Hey, hey, what's happening here? Its recent inclusion in the ecosystem has caused many major changes in nature's balance. One may assume that the crawl's presence may outcompete any other competitors, but due to its it unique can. life cycle, where old branches fall off and decay into nutrient-rich compost, can. all forms of life seemingly flourish instead. I said it can't prosper, so it's not allowed to, you know what I'm saying? See, these demon trees listen to me because they know when a true heavenly light of holiness speaks to them, they need to listen or I can't murk them like that. So they listen to what I say. The crawl's abundance grants plenty of nourishment to all animals, from plants feeding on the decayed crawl, herbivores thriving on increased plant population, and carnivores feeding on both the abundant prey, and are able to eat the crawl as well. The presence of all these animals leave behind waste, which will be broken down and consumed by the crawl, and the cycle begins again. Fried crawl is kind of good though, I'm not gonna this lie to y'all. This form of symbiosis leads to should try some fried crawl. where all populations thrive. Humanity also uses the crawl to our advantage. Cause it's good. Because of the supernatural rate of growth, 
and its richness in nutrients, it has been sustainably cultivated into domestic farms. Yep. The krull is harvested and processed into fertilizer, which greatly increases crop yield and quality. No, we eat it! The krull may also be used as a food source for humans, and reliably so. Yeah. But due to its unkindly appearance and taste, it has yet to reach cuisine standards. It does taste good. They tweaking. You have the to the just add a little salt to it. The plays a very important role in the next creatures that we have been studying. Sometimes, in a crawl populated environment, a node may eight? develop on one of the branches. This node will fall off and grow into a functioning organism and go oh. to live on as an independent animal. This leads us to the upcoming species that we will be discussing. The first of these creatures are the trimmings. The trimmings. Hey, you're not gonna flash that past me. What is what was that? That looked like it's someone with the head in the hand. What the hell is this? Something about a distant kingdom? Okay, bro. The trimmings! The trimmings are small animals that resemble skinned raccoons. Mom? Damn, you've lost some weight. You're doing really good. Keep it up. What did you say? They are commonly known to have a plump body, round head, small eyes, nose and ear holes, okay. and a gape mouth. They are also equipped with a diversity of limbs. All a diversity? All trimmings are unique, each with a different body shape, okay. number of limbs, and other characteristics. That looks like a, sh a dragon. One they all share in common is that they are made mostly of meat tissue, and are a maximum of 20 centimeters in length, no larger than a basketball. That's like three of my- Each life starts with its separation from the crawl. It will wonder to find anything that is edible and able to consume. Okay, it's like a parasite. Although it is an omnivore, being able to hunt meat and forage for plant matter, trimmings are almost entirely scavengers. Never mind, it's not a- It consists of rotting plants and meat, including, but not limited to, fruits, vegetables, roots, seeds, insects, and deceased animals. Okay. Although its appearance is unsightly. Unsightly? Kinda look cute. You know, like, I feel like, I feel like I could have a pet one of these, a pet trimming. You look like he needs some milk, bro. That's all you have to do, you have to feed him. Everything's ugly when it's hungry. <laughs> it is a cowardly creature. Coward? Fleeing, screeching, and hiding when threatened. Because of its lack of defensive traits, My trimming's gonna be a badass. at the bottom of the food chain, making it easily overpowered and picked off very regularly by predators. Naturally, its population would eventually die out, but this is not the case. I want to see what you're talking about, bro. Mass trimming infestation. You lied! Eliminated 400 plus trimmings gathered under a large abandoned satellite dish. But they're infesting! It's a capper. The crawl oh, he said it's not the case. The Never mind. Quantity of trimming nodes, keeping up their numbers. He didn't lie. Naturally, trimmings can be found wherever there is abundant crawl. There's another white space. The, the crawl didn't have the white space here. Uh, no, the crawl had white space here too. So something's growing here that we don't know about. Pokemon? Who's that Pokemon? <laughs> Trimmings grow at a decent pace, reaching maturity at around seven months, having a maximum lifespan of two to four years. Okay. Although they are plentiful, humanity has no proper way to implement trimmings into society. Eat them! Overabundance has even considered them pests. Eat them! Digging through trash bins and making excessive noise. At look, look at that. Are you gonna tell me that's not a friend, bro? It's friend shape. Give it a hug. Give it a hug. Give it a hug. Hell no. Night. Besides all of this, some people still keep trimmings as pets. I have that same dog bed. domesticate them. I like those people. Nuisance or not, trimmings are a wondrous creature. From their plentiful numbers, they are beautiful to their creatures. Nature, they are truly a thing to behold. The next species on our list is the meat snake. We don't like snakes around here. We hate reptilians in general, actually. During the travels on one of the blanks, a gray storm struck. It was so powerful it swayed the boat. The royal family rode and pushed the prince into the sea. A black prince? No, not a Negro. So the royal family that we saw earlier lost their son at sea. Okay, let's see what happens in that storyline too. The meat snake. The meat snake is a worm-like creature made of a variety of types I of I use meat that for fishing. transparent, skin-like membrane. Its I use size that. varies during its lifespan, 
depending on how much it consumes. Okay. When it first separates. Oh yeah, that's some that's some good fish bait. Oh yeah, cut his head off, sing his, you know, <laughs> throw that thing in the. Oh, man. I'm gonna catch me some crazy cat, uh, catfish with this. I'll let you know that now. From the crawl, it is only a few centimeters in length. Eventually, it will reach an average length of five meters. Although, under extreme conditions, like natural disasters, war, or plague, it can greatly surpass this leg. No, no, you're not gonna play me like that. Largest meat snake ever discovered. During a sweep of the underground settlements, man during the war, a massive sized meat snake, snake was discovered stuck inside of an underground railway. The beast measured the total of 40 meters. Maha, what the f? Later, nigga. Greatly surprised. It said 40 meters. The meat snake's diet consists entirely of dead animals or parts. A meat snake is incapable of consuming a healthy, living organism oh he's so weak the snake locates its food by using a tongue like organ covered in sensors to touch and feel its environment Ew. the sensors catch particles of decaying meat that looks like a cop the snake that there is food nearby this process shares many similarities to regular snakes hence the meat snake's name once it locates the corpse the meat snake will open its jaw and swallow the entire body whole once the entire body is consumed, the meat snake's stomach will release a variety of chemicals. Some will break down soft tissue like skin, and the connection points between muscles. Okay. Others chemicals will then ferment and preserve the tissue to keep it from breaking down for as long as possible. After that, the remaining flesh and bones will move along the meat snake's tract, and slowly be implemented into its own structure, extending the meat snake. So the more it eats, the more it grows. Nice. Like skulls, pelvises, hair, and fingernails will be excreted. You don't like my pelvis. Speaking of skulls, the meat snake will take the skull from the consumed organism and use it as its own. Each meat snake has its own skull, each corresponding to what that one has consumed. What? During its lifespan, it will swap or replace these skulls if needed. A meat snake's lifespan depends entirely on how much a meat snake consumes. The longest one has lived for was 28 years. This man is changing his characters midlife, changing his build. Man thinks he is Kim Kardashian. I don't like my face. I'm a changer. The meat snake has no predators and is immune to disease due to its preserving chemicals. The only significant ways a meat snake can die is through starvation, guns. burning, guns. or complete destruction of the meat snake's membrane coating. With, with guns. Interestingly, the meat snake is the only member of the Carnies family that is able to reproduce. That looks like if I skinned my meat after I got out of the hot shower. That's like how wrinkly and, and, and yeah. So the meat snake is a skin penis. Okay. It is able to reproduce. When a meat snake reaches an excessive size and is in the conditions to do so, it will commence mitosis, splitting itself in two. Then the now two what? meat snakes will go on their separate ways and live on as two distinct organisms. An amoeba? Meat I think those are the ones that split up. Found in moderate temperature climates, not too hot, not too cold. Their population depends entirely on the amount of corpses available. I'm just Where saying. There, is death, there are meat snakes. Wow. Humanity will use them to our advantage. Meat snakes are a very efficient and clean way of disposing of any meat products. That's good. The preserving fluid within the meat snake's body disinfects the carrion, preventing the spread of disease. Meat snakes look Humans edible. Use meat snakes in butcher shops as a waste bin. See? Oh. Roadkill. Oh. Within war on the battlefield to dispose of festering bodies and parts, and within zoos to dispose of deceased animals. Y'all think Hitler fucked with uh, meat snakes out of curiosity? Or were they not around back then? They are extremely tame, not caring if any creature is around them. It's only tame. Only defensively when it is within consuming a meal. That's not this tame. Means they are very easy to tame. I can get one? Overall, meat snakes are a marvelous creature with a very interesting way of sustaining itself. What if you have a meat snake and, and then you die and your meat snake st takes your skull? That would be kind of cool though. A walk -a snake, bro? A walk -a snake of meat? I need a meat snake now. Where can I get these? Uh, Red Robin? Olive Garden? Flea Market? It is an amazing experience to encounter one, as long as you don't mind the smell. Our next creature is the Mimic. More moments later.
What the hell is this? Is that Frieza? What the fuck is Frieza doing here? What the hell? Oh, that's 100% Frieza, bro. After being stranded at the sea, the young prince eventually was cast into an island. Injured, the prince stumbled his cave his way into a cave nearby. The prince used that what magic he could to put himself into the healing sleeve. Fire! We got Frieza, princess, magic. All we need is more blacks. I'm surrounded by a bunch of monkeys. The mimic. The mimic is a bipedal creature with uncanny similarities to humanoid anatomy. You say he's a bi what? The mimic is a bipedal creature with- The nigga's a bisexual pedophile? Well, I'm out of here. Goodbye, everyone. They greatly resemble humans without skin, with added exaggerated features. These features include extended finger legs, So they want to be titans. Limbs, bulging, empty <laughs> eyes, and their most prominent feature, a wide, teeth-filled smile. They want to be titans so badly. Face, this is due to coincidence, and is only how their facial structure is shaped. The Moa of the Mimic contains much more teeth than humans, and their teeth is comprised almost entirely of incisors, with some canine and premolars in the back. They want to be us so badly. This is tooth composition is ideal for biting down onto meat, they and swallowing be us. Chuck's whole. A mature Mimic's diet is comprised entirely of human flesh. Because of this, they are found sold. No, why me? What do you mean, human? Around human populated areas. Okay, it's a human populated areas, but what's bad? Is, is lighter co colors bad or is it darker colors? Because why is the East Coast looking like this? <laughs> we don't have more people than the West, I don't think. Texas is black, though, so I think the blacker it is, the worse it is. Why is the blacker it is the worst? I'm glad I'm in the red, though. <laughs> Yippee! The mimic's life cycle is made of three stages. In the first stage, a young mimic separates from the crawl. They closely resemble their trimming relatives, but are thin, sleek, and only have four appendages. That don't look nothing like In a this trimming. Stage, the young mimic will hunt small animals, moving on to larger and larger as they grow. Once large enough, it will begin metamorphosis into the next stage of life. Once fully transformed, it will resemble the description mentioned in the beginning. Its hunting style changes and becomes much more complicated. It now stalks and feeds only on humans. It will locate human populated area and begin its search for an easy target. The nigga's tall as a town? Is that what this is? Is that what I was trying to show? Okay, so it's just their size compared to a human. Was that it? Okay, 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 I see. Will locate human populated area and begin its search for an easy target. Okay. To blend in, it may use objects to conceal itself. These include clothing, mannequins, and furniture. He's red. How does he conceal himself? Once a target has been found, the mimic will observe its prey and learn its routine and when it is most vulnerable. This is typically when the human is asleep at night. Once the prey is within position, the mimic will advance. The mimic don't got nothing to you do, bro. The mimic will then execute and immediately begin consumption. Why does the, the mimic has had its fill? It will leave the scene. A fair distance away from the human population. The mimic got no friends. <laughs> the mimic lonely. <laughs> like what? What are you stalking one person for? And begin to digest its meal. Although, in the case that a human is awake, a mimic will use a variety of sounds to either lure or start. Yes. Oh wait, was that the video? <gasps> oh. This got me like crazy! Sounds to either lure or startle. That was crazy. Once a human is in place, it will swiftly attack and kill the helpless target. Damn! Um, can we get back to the normal schedule? I didn't sign up for this, okay? Talk to the hands! I'm not trying to see it! I'm not trying. Why do you have your flashlight on the door? He can see. I'm not with it, bro. I'm not with it, bro. Hell no. I'm not ready for this, bro. Why the mimic tripping like this? Get it over already. Damn. Are we serious? Oh my. Thank you, bro. 
Finally. Those are some long ass nails. Where's the prince at? Where's the prince? Where's the prince? Oh. I'll be gentle with you. Don't worry. So you gonna tell me this thing is walking around town with a bunch of humans and no one see be seeing him? Like no one be seeing this man? Cow! The next stage of the mimic's life cycle has two potential morphs it may develop into. It morphs again? If a mimic has a consistent supply of food, it will develop more human-like features. It will grow skin, hair, and by the end will look nearly identical to a human being. It now can blend entirely into civilization. This explains cannibals. More effectively. This explains cannibals. The second type of morph happens when a mimic receives an overabundance of food. It will grow into a larger, more evolved hunter. Its proportions will increase in length, and its humanoid features will fade away. It grows a thick, dark coating of a flexible skin, which is highly durable, and increases in strength the more the elder mimic consumes. This excludes the face, which is now coated in a pale pink skin. The mimic's teeth have also moved deeper into the mimic's throat, leaving its mouth a toothless grin. Ew! It uses the dark hue of its skin to hide seamlessly within a dark environment. Sure. Its skills have also been heightened. This makes an elder mimic one of the most efficient predators on the planet. Is its scales bulletproof though? Because of the obvious threat this poses on humanity, nations around the world have released instructions on how to be able to fend for yourself in a mimic encounter. I see Here none are of these the instructions. One. Avoid going out alone if your location is known to have mimics, or there have been mimic sightings. Nah, Two, shit. If you encounter a stationary mimic, seemingly unfazed by your presence, quietly leave the location and alert your local authorities. Nah, shit. Three. If pursued by a mimic, get yourself into a position where you are able to flee. Mimics will rarely attack if a person has a clear escape route. Duh! Four. In the event that you have been cornered by a mimic, roll into the fetal position, protecting your neck, face, and vital organs from attack. Make as much noise as you can to alert any other people. Five. If you have a weapon, do not use it. A mimic is fairly resilient, and any strikes or shots on a mimic is not effective enough to bring it down in time. What do you mean shots won't bring it down in time? Then what will? Instead, use it as a barrier between you and the mimic to block any attacks. 6. In a situation where a mimic is hunting in the immediate area, and is not aware of your position, hide somewhere low like under a bed or behind other furniture. A mimic will not linger too long to search for prey, and will move on. Okay, so they're impatient. And avoid any encounters with a mimic Mimics are costs. impatient, and they don't like wasting time. Next up, the harvester. The har- No, nope. Next up, nope. the harvester. I need to see what's happening with my prince. I need a harvester. Let's see what's happening with my prince, though. But the prince's sleep was long. He slept for what it seems like forever. As he slept, the land around him started to change and grew. It was unrecognizable from when the prince first arrived, but the sleep still needed time to heal the prince. Much more time, but it kept the prince safe while he was resting, guarding him from the elements of the land change. My nigga, how long did he have to sleep? Jesus needed three days. How long do you need? Golly. The Harvester The Harvester is a large, bulbous mass, with a large amount of tendrils spread- I seen that in uh, Call of Duty Ghost Extinction! That was like the first map right there, or I think it's every map. You have to get through one, some of these, I remember those. Spreading from the base. The bulb measures around 3 meters in height and 2 meters in diameter. The tendrils, on the other hand, can extend up to 150 meters in diameter horizontally. Damn! The harvester is a specialized form of crawl that grows in the unique and deadly That's like a pimple. The harvester is created when a node that will grow into a harvester. Instead of separating, the crawl just spawns all of these. Eventually, it will grow tendrils of its own. It uses the energy provided by its mother branch and expands its reach further. Its tendrils, hidden just below the surface of the ground, the harvester is equipped with two types of specialized tendrils. The first type Those is tendrils bulky sound like and roots. Flat, 
They lie. Those are not roots. <laughs> I'm I'm mistaking. Those are not roots. The closest to the surface. The first type is bulky and flat. They lie the closest to the surface. These branches are lined on each length of the tendril with spines, extending in the shape of a bear trap. On each side of the branch, those particular spines have a vein that feed into them that pump two types of venom. On one side, Damn, the spines two types? Can inject a neurotoxin, which will attack the nervous system of whomever Damn. is injected into causing sudden paralysis the other side can inject an anticoagulant which when injected prevents blood cells from clotting whenever a large animal moves across the area armed with these tendrils the branches will clamp onto the animal and thrash violently. like a venus top fly trap once the prey has been injected with both venoms the tendrils will rest and the prey will immediately collapse the animal will be unable to move due to the paralysis, and the wounds caused by the thrashing spines will not stop bleeding. All the prey can do is lie patiently, until succumbing to blood loss. Once the prey has That's bled so out, nasty. the second type of tendrils come in. They lie below the spine equipped once. These branches are thick, but very sturdy. They share similar anatomy to the small branches of the crawl, equipped with organelle that absorbs nutrients. I piss on this These thing. These sense the blood and move their way to the surface and begin to absorb the vital fluid. Once the blood has been consumed, the tendrils will wrap around the body and begin to shuffle downwards. This movement loosens the soil and slowly pull the body underground. Broken. These are overpowered. Once secure, the tendrils will continue to feed until they're. What's more overpowered, the mimic or the harvest? The nourishment Which one? absorbed by the tendrils will be sucked back into the. Which one's more overpowered? Of the this bulb houses all the vital organs and the venom glands that pump into the spines. The nutrients are then converted into usable energy. Damn. The remains underground decompose, providing a rich soil, causing very prominent plant growth, which then attracts more animals. Good for the environment. A strange behavior the harvester displays is its choice of diet. The spines will only activate on larger animals allowing smaller ones to pass by unaffected so the large animals the can eat those also not activate on some species of bird there are a couple theories as to why this happens one it could be that attacking smaller animals would cost too much energy for what they get in return okay making it not worth the time facts another could be that smaller animals may attract larger the large ones yes allowing yes that's what i was thinking they thrive and lure more predators it truly is astonishing it's a really Although it is a spectacular creature, it is also very dangerous. The oh, harvester really? is decently rare, only populating sparse areas in the northern hemisphere and woodland forests. And it's still on the east coast! So right now, the east coast has to do with everything! Crawl! The ugly niggas! Mimics! And the harvester! Man! If you are stunned by a harvester, there will be no way of helping you. Being that there is no cure, damn and fatality is 100% positive. Y'all haven't found a cure yet? 100% fatality? Uh, I think he's more dangerous than the mimic. Like, the mimic has ways to stop it. They said it is impossible to stop this thing. That's insane. Family attacked by the authorities refused to handle the harvester? The authorities tapped out? You don't want to fight. The best thing you can do is avoid encountering a harvester in the first place. Duh. If you were hiking, Take note of any warnings or signs saying that there are harvesters around. Or bomb. If you also notice an abundance of lush, ground-dwelling plants in a forested area, and there are no signs of wildlife. This is suspicious and you should leave the area. They say, they just said, if you see beautiful plants with no bears, you have to leave. How many places is that? That's everywhere. Okay, not everywhere, but that's a lot of places. To the base of large trees or rocks. If you find yourself okay. in the middle of a harvester ground, do not panic. Some okay. movements may activate the tendrils and will inject you. No. Although a harvester is rather forgiving, do not risk any skittish movements. Remain what do you mean calm. forgiving? If you have any objects with considerable heft, like coats, backpacks, or full water bottles, gently take that object and lightly toss it towards the bulb and away from your escape route. This will activate the spines on where the object lands. So you said do not panic. We can't even call 911 to deal with this though. Like the authorities can't even deal with it. You're all on your own. That's BS. Distracting the bulb for a moment. You will then slowly begin to do wide shuffles away from the bulb. 
If possible, throw another object when you are certain you are a fair enough distance away, just to be safe. Continue until you are completely sure you are out of harm's way. Nick, I'm you will run. But don't be too obnoxious, or you will be a harvester's next meal. What do you mean too obnoxious? What do you mean by next that? Next up is the host. Oh, the ho the hose? Hose man! I don't know what that word is. The first word. Oh, outside the cave. Oh, outside the cave during the time of hardship lived the island critters. They were struggling because there was only barely food. Okay, okay. The host of influence. Host of influence? He's like influencer, he's me. Influence, more commonly referred to as the host has its name derived from a host who invites guests to an event. Okay. Not to be confused with a host, a harborer of parasites or disease. The host is a semi-humanoid looking organism. It has the structure of a head, torso, and arms. Other than this, it shares no other characteristics. The lower okay. half of the host is comprised of a mass of fibrous tissue and tendrils that burrow into the ground to hold the host in place. Instead of skin, the host is covered in muscular tissue fibers, tendons, and veins. So he kind of weak for parts real. Of the body are covered in a meaty plate used to cover any large exposed areas. He's kind of weak. Movement. The host's head has a smooth surface where the face should be attached to a crooked neck, which houses a slit in the front used for feeding. On the host's back is a mound of pores. Protruding from these pores are a hollow hair-like structures extending outwards. These hairs are barrels that release spores produced within host's body by being fired into the air. Okay. He doesn't seem too These bad. These spores are hazardous, so keep clear of them at all costs. What was that? The KKK! He was hosting KKK meetings. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Clear of them at all costs. Luckily, the host is rare, only found in North America. So we just have everything. Right, we, they just can't, they just can't leave us alone. Obtaining info about the host is a very risky and daunting task. This is because of their rarity and of how dangerous it is to be up close to one. The sores released by I a get host a picture of them. dangerous when inhale. A host will release a cloud of spores into the air. Wear a mask. Which will be picked up by wind and carried great distances. Wear a mask. If an organism inhales the spores, the particles will find their way into the organism's brain and infect them. You might need an more than a mask. An organism will show no symptoms of infection right away. But a couple hours after infection, the infected organism's behavior and thought process will change. The first symptoms that appear are restlessness, sluggish You movement, might need a, 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 a good mask. Lack of coordination. A really good mask. More serious symptoms appear over time. These include dizziness, migraines, impaired speech, and trembles. That them niggas give you a speech impediment. <laughs> They, got, they make you tweak and, tweak and stutter. That's insane. If you or someone you know show these symptoms, contact poison control or emergency services. After a total of six to seven hours after infection, the organism will cease all activities they were previously doing and begin to walk. The direction the infected will walk is towards the host whose spores have been inhaled by the infected individual. Oh. If the infected makes their way to the host. They will kneel down in front of it, expose their vital organs, and the host will promptly gut and remove those organs. The host will consume them and discard the leftover scraps. So they manipulate them into be being food. Is that worse than the harvest? I still don't think that's worse than the harvest because there's still time to do something about it once you get caught. With the harvest, there's not, not much you could do. You're screwed if you, live to, if you live alone, but still. However, if an infected organism doesn't reach the host within a 36 hour span or is treated for their infection, the effects will wear off and return back to normal. Weak. He's weak. If a host is unable to find prey or doesn't like its current location, it will unroot itself and move to a new location. <laughs> That's so funny. Their scarce numbers and the hazard of being around one makes getting info about the host very daunting. All you need yeah. to currently know is that the host is extremely dangerous and should be avoided at all costs. Bro, all I would do is I would go find the host, snap my pictures, and then call poison control because I know I'm going to be tweaking later.
Although one day the critters found a cave while searching for food, they found the prince in trance in his healing sleep. The critters were so in awe and struck and enchanted by the prince's magic. Okay, so the prince enchanted these people. I thought they were gonna try to eat them. The monolith is a very new creature, only showing up in June of 1972 in the area of. <gasps> So one place I was grow, it was on the one place I was white. I told y'all something was going on there. So what's the monolith? There are only seven monoliths, all of them located in a circular position. The Illuminati? One and a half kilometers in diameter. This what? ring of monoliths surround. <laughs> the monolith is a titanic sized being measuring roughly 120 meters in height. If that was the case, I would have seen one of them niggas. <laughs> Cap! <laughs> Each monolith has two trunk legs that are firmly embedded underground. What the, the legs connect to a torso. The creature itself is made of hundreds of thousands of meaty strands, tightly woven together to form the structure. These strands end at the neck, fusing into a solid mass of hardened flesh in the shape Hell of an nah. upside down triangle, with a hole in its center. Hell nah. On each side of the monolith where arms would be, there are dozens of long, rope-like appendages. These reach just barely to the ground. At the creature's feet, the strands go deep into the earth and extend horizontally a decent distance away. That, those strands are like, they just molest the earth's core, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like they're just gripping all over the core without consent. These strands are unconsented, you can tell. What the monoliths do is simply stand and do nothing. The only wow. activity documented that the monoliths have done was in During this period, they were extremely aggressive. When the group of were making their way to the city, the monolith that they had passes roared a deep bellow and the swung its appendages at the team, completely wiping them out. Damn. When military vehicles Tragic. were dispatched, once they got close enough to top the monolith, it roared another call this time releasing an EMP blast, completely knocking the vehicles out in the vicinity. Tragic. Finally, long distance rockets were fired and struck the creature. So were those like the original people? That was the original uh, princess like on the island thing? I don't know, they look like, like they could have grown that tall. You feel what I'm saying? It looked like they were on an island, so it could be the original people, I'm just saying. chat and I'm looking at the camera so I don't have to look at the screen although damaged it regenerated at great let's see if I miss anything uh oh cuz it just said photograph okay. although damaged it regenerated at great speed and resumed its stance unscathed okay eventually the area has been fenced off and is now restricted to all ever since the monolith stand silently now only a grand spectacle of awe and mystery. I punk those more questions to these meat beings. I beat the ass. And finally, the last creature on this list is. Okay, it's it's the Earth. It's 104 days of summer vacation. It's uh, I'm gonna assume that says the prince woke up something something. Who is this creature? A few inches later. So these are the monoliths. That's my that's my theories. It's black. It's a black the circle. What if the prince is the singularity? And instead of the prince coming out of his healing chamber, the, the dwarves around him mess with them, and the dwarves are protecting this thing, and this thing is the prince. Something like that. Almost all info about the singularity is hidden or confiscated by officials. We were only able to receive one classified document about the singularity being by. Held by Marvel 
marvelous and majestic world that exists today. It's as extraordinary to have such strange and mysterious beings appear all around us. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on this journey of exploration and discovery of the lives. You're welcome, bro. Me. All I know is I figured out that I'm the singularity. I'm him. That's what I found out. What a beautifully constructed video.